Welcome guys. So today uh, we are trying to show a uh, computer order of the uh, automorphism group. Automorphism group. Okay, of Sigli group. Okay, so what I intend to do is I try to provide uh, some uh, important math proof in a very short video. So each of video I think only lasts uh, 10 minutes, right? Okay, so uh, I can denote CN to be the uh, Sigli group uh, with order N. Okay, or, or basically you can view it as Z uh, N, right? Z N to you, uh, sorry, Z. Uh, I should say ZI and uh, I can from Z1 to uh, N my uh, and ZN to the one ZN to the, okay. so basically this is the the if you take any point if you take the polynomial ZN equals to one and then you take all its roots then it's generally just it's, it's, it then it will give you the sigma group of order Okay, so this is just a simple realization. Okay, so now uh, we want to calculate the automorphism group, right? So automorphism group for G basically is the homo uh, homomorphism. I take H, right, from G to B, which is isomorphism. Okay, so the fact is that the automorphism group is also a group, right? It's a group, right? And uh, since this this if G is abelian, then automorphism of abelian group is abelian. Okay, so now the key point is that, that we need to compute it, right? So we need we want to compute the automorphism group of C n. Okay, and the theorem is that the automorphism group for C n is just the phi n. Okay, so phi is a uh, Euler function. Okay, so let me just remind you guys that the phi n. Basically, it's the number of uh, integer p, so p one that uh, satisfy the one less than p less than uh, less than n, such that uh, the GCD p n is basically one. Okay, so for example, uh, if n is prime, then uh, phi of n. Right, just file p just equals to p minus one because all the number less than uh, less than p uh, will uh, comprise to to p right uh, comprise to n right and uh, another example uh, simple example is five six basically it contains the one and the five right because two and three is uh, not comprise to six and also number is two right. Okay, so no proof. Okay, uh, okay, by the way, so the automorphism group of Sigli group is also Sigli. So the reason is also a Sigli group. And, and the reason is that, uh, right, since you are from CN, map to CN, right, so this is Sigli group. So you only, so determined phi n, uh, Determine this phi one, right? Give you the so this suppose it generated by one. Okay, so determine phi one will fix the fix the uh, homomorphism, right? Because because once you fix this f of one, then the all the rest, uh, all the f of k basically just k f of one, right? Okay, so now the proof is basically uh. Uh, easy because now uh, now this is isomorphic right so we are assuming that we are isomorphic so the key is basically ask about uh, ask about so if it is isomorphic so this means that the f of one uh, is also a generator is also a generator right so that means the number of the automorphism group cn is basically the number of generator generators in cn right and by definition the number of generator is just all the number which is comprised to n so 5n right so the is very easy that things is isomorphic so phi 1 is also generators so the number of cn uh, automorphism of cn just uh, all number of generators in cn, uh, CN so it's fine right so so this automorphism cn okay so usually can be denoted as cn uh, 
cross. Uh, so this times cross means that you just take the all the invertible elements. So yeah, the number of five. Okay. So this is also cyclical. Okay. So for example, uh, the automorphism of C six is basically C uh what C two right? Because it only contains elements one and five. Okay. That's it. And uh, I will see you guys in the other uh, algebra video, uh, our group theory video. Thanks.